Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, let's see, project for the day. Remember that dump truck a couple of videos ago? Well, here are the aluminum mud flaps to that. That I guess they torched them off to uh, ship it on a flatbed. That's all I could figure why they would do that. That's a J and J body on that thing. So uh, my boy Adam is trying to get me. He bought a spool gun for our MIG welder, aluminum spool gun, uh, four, five, six years ago in the hopes that I would start welding aluminum. And guess what? I never have. I have never welded aluminum. Here's the spool gun. Here's my test pieces. All right, I can't jump, just jump right into the big leagues over there. I need something to practice with. So I thought this would be a good start. I got to get, there's a different gas for welding aluminum. I have some of that over there. I'm going to get that out and unpack that and then I'll bring you back. So basically what we have here is a Spoolmate 100 Miller. I think the deal okay whereas this thing is pushing the steel wire through 10 feet of cord and out to that head the aluminum wire is so soft you can't push it through this uh, cord so what they're doing is they're just moving the spool right to here and pushing it out and really then, all I have coming through here is gas and electric. So I gotta take this off. Gotta pull this off and plug into here. I've gotta hit that switch. And I'll tell you, Miller makes it easy for us dummies. I opened the thing here. Uh, bam, Spoolmate 100 series. Tells me everything I need to know. There's the wire size I'm using. I'm at 220. So I guess I'm going to set this at three and a half and 60. So three and a half. And 60 and I'm gonna flip that to I've got to take this off yet and then I have to connect this tank which is I thought 100% argon so I'll bring you back okay Let's see, is this thing working? I think so. All right. So here we go. This is the first time I've ever welded aluminum. This thing all went together real well. Uh, we bought this brand new and we lent it to somebody who said it worked really good. So I'm leaving his setup intact and I'm just going to try and uh, see how this goes. Here we go.
okay? Ugly. I do have a stainless steel brush in there. I don't even, come on, focus. I don't even think I, I got any of it to weld. So let me scrape some of the garbage off and I'll try it again. All right, there's cleaned up. I don't think, I don't want to pull it out of here, but it doesn't appear like it bonded at all to the upright piece, but right in there, yeah, it's still warm. That looks like it hit good, so I'm going to fire it up and do it again. Yeah, no can do. All right. This is how we learn, right? All right. Well, that was really ugly. I cleaned it up some with a stainless steel wire brush. And I went through my settings again. And what I did find is I must not have had my gas all the way turned on. So hopefully that's the problem. We're going to try it again here. That felt a whole lot better. Oh yeah. Let's see here. Oh, there we go. We're getting it. Come on, focus. There you go. That looks pretty darn good. I got that one hole right there I'm going to work on. But yeah, it's amazing if you turn the shielding gas on what will happen. So I'm going to keep playing around with this and we'll see what happens. I'll bring you back. Okay. Right there was my first weld. That's that hole. Then I came over here and I put a bead on the back side which I'll tell you, that's probably the best weld I have so far. Uh, then I came over here, and, you know, there's another hole. But it looks okay. It looks like I'm hot. A little hot. And the, another phenomenon here is that's not a beta weld over here. That's the aluminum deforming 
uh, on the inside there. The other side did it too, and I just went over it. So I don't know whether I'm too hot and I'm melting that. But I cleaned this portion up here. I'm going to turn the heat down and I'm going to go a little faster. And we'll see how that works. Ooh, man, that is really ugly. Two steps forward and one step back. I'm going to keep playing around and we'll get it. Okay. Well, that'll do it for today. Uh, got some diamond plate out of this boneyard. And, uh, it was easier to weld than that super thin stuff, but... So, keep playing, keep working. Uh, I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.